Hey everyone, Dave here from Headset Advisor. Typically when you buy a Plantronics or Poly wired or wireless headset, you would have had to use the Plantronics Hub software. But now Poly has released the Poly Lens software that allows you to control your headset and your Poly video conferencing equipment such as this Poly R30. So we're gonna show you all the differences between the Plantronics Hub and Poly Lens software right now. The Plantronics Hub is where you go to update the firmware of your wired or wireless headset, as well as adjust all the settings. And it also gives you advanced controls for your software, such as Ring Central, Microsoft Teams, to be able to answer and end calls remotely. Now, you used to have to download a separate app in order to control your video conferencing devices, such as the Poly R30, the Poly Studio P5, all of those video conferencing devices needed a separate app. But now what they've done is they've allowed all the devices to be controlled from the Poly Lens software. So you can do everything on the Plantronics Hub, but now you can do it through just the one application, the Poly Lens. And for those of you that are not familiar, Plantronics has been a very uh, household name, the most popular headset brand on the market for a long time, but they purchased a company called Polycom, which specializes in video conferencing and desk phones, and they merged the two companies together to get you a company called Poly. So all of the headsets, the audio and video conferencing equipment is all being branded Poly now. So there's this software called Poly Lens that is allowing you to control all of those things and even give you even more features. Now with the Plantronics Hub, if you have older Plantronics equipment, you are going to need the Plantronics Hub in order to control those devices. So if you have an old Savvy W740 and other similar related headsets, you're going to need to stay with the Plantronics Hub. But all of the new branded Poly headsets, such as the Voyager 4300 series, the Poly Voyager Focus 2, and those new devices that have the Poly brand on them, you're going to be able to control through this new Poly Lens software. But looking at the Plantronics Hub, it has a more outdated look and vibe compared to the Poly Lens and it only allows you to control the headset. So you can't control any of the video devices here, but it does give you up-to-date information about your equipment. So from the software, you can tell your uh, headset here, the Voyager 4300 is connected with the USB adapter and you can check out the settings of your USB adapter. You can put it into pairing mode through this screen. But then in order to get to the headset device, you have to actually switch it up here on the Plantronics Hub. So it's a little confusing as far as trying to adjust the headset rather than the USB adapter and kind of figuring out which one you need to adjust. So as you can see, we go into settings now. Now you have all of your general settings for your Voyager 4320, and you can adjust any of these settings. One of the features that I do like is the HD voice. Making sure that is on will give you a better sound quality. So for your meetings, if you're listening to music, it's just gonna give you a better overall uh, hearing experience. Now, switching over to the Poly Lens software, it has a much different look. You can see all your devices that are active and plugged in on the left side of your screen. You can see the Voyager 4320. There's a red number one, which means that there's an update that needs to be required. And it shows USB adapter here at the top of the screen. So it tells you that your USB adapter is out of date and needs to be updated. So let's go ahead and do the update process to show you what that looks like. It all has a modern feel. It looks uh, has really nice graphics. You can tell they put a lot of time, effort, and attention into this software. And it's going to give you um, a better experience when trying to update your specific equipment through this software. One additional feature that Poly Lens software has is a soundscaping feature. So if you go to the app on your Windows computer and click the Poly Lens logo, you will see that there is a soundscaping option. It's currently off. 
And then you can go ahead and change it to Mountain Ranch. This is what that sounds like. You have Gentle Ocean. And you have Babbling Brook. So that sounds like. That is at full volume. So you can set up to have some nice uh, background noise if you want, you know, your conference room or just in your office, you wanna play a little bit of noise uh, to kind of keep you focused on your, your action and not distracted by all the background noise. You have those options available through the software, which is a nice additional feature. Now that we have the headset updated, I wanna show you the, some of the settings. Through the software, you can adjust the language, you can adjust the general settings. It's all in a much more logical order and you can easily switch between your devices and also the settings of those devices. And there's quite a few setting adjustments. If you've never downloaded the software with your headset or video conferencing devices, you should highly check out all the settings that you can adjust. And then of course, very important feature is making sure your headset's up to date and also that it integrates with your soft phone applications like Microsoft Teams, Ring Central, and the rest. So switching over to the Studio R30, you're able to see that it's connected and you also have settings that you can adjust. So same thing, you can adjust the, the general, you could invert the video if you want. You also have um, audio adjustments you can do, such as your acoustic fence technology, which is a noise canceling technology that allows your voice to be heard and not all the distracting noises going on around you if you're using the video conferencing bar. You have your noise block AI for both your microphone and also your speakers. So you have a lot of technology built in with this software and through the equipment as well. So overall, the PolyLens software is an easy way to adjust all your Poly devices in one app. And I highly recommend that you download it if you have any Poly devices. I'll put a link in the video description below. Also with the camera, you do have controls. It's currently in the middle of an app right now, but you can adjust uh, the preview. You can change the tracking mode so you can see a speaker focused and you can set um, all sorts of different settings as far as the camera controls go for the camera. Now, if you're looking for a poly headset or device, that's what our team here at Headset Advisor does every day. Please reach out to us, give us a call, email us, live chat with us on our website, and we can match you with the best devices for your unique situation. And we are super competitive on pricing, have bulk price discounts, government pricing, all of that. So reach out to one of our reps for the best available pricing. So that's all I got for you on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy this in-depth review we did of this poly wireless headset. It's very popular, so go check it out. That's all I got for you. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.